What's up guys, SpinFireArms here, and this right here is my Walther PPSM2. This is the firearm that I've been carrying at work while waiting for my FN503 to get back. And honestly, I love this little thing. It's a great shooter, has a great trigger now that it's broken in a little more. Just a good overall single stack that's very small, very easy to conceal. Now, I've always been curious about the Urban Carry G3 holsters, right? I was always curious how they worked, um, if they could be practical, if you could really use them appropriately, and if they would be comfortable, because look at how big they are compared to this Vetter inside the waistband holster, right? There's all this extra material and so on. And basically what it is, is you go on their website and you select, you know, roughly which firearm you have, and it's a holster size for multiple firearms. Like you can put a Glock 43 in here, you know, you can put other single stacks, probably an XDS, a shield, and so on. On top of that, one thing that shocked me is when I put the firearm in there, it clicked. There's a little bit of retention in this, and you can even tighten it and loosen it. Now, my major problem at first was even getting the firearm in there to where I wanted to be, right? So you have this material in here, and you also have a magnet that folds over. Now, when you put it in there, right, now it's all good. That basically folds over on your belt, right? So basically what you see is from this part... Here, sorry, let me push in a little more. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's a little hard to get all set up, but once it's in there, it's in there. Anyways, check that out, right? So all you're going to see is from your belt up, for instance, if your shirt goes up, right? This is all you see. And no one's going to think that this little, you know, curve right here is going to be a firearm, right? Because normally a holster, you'll see, you know, the actual grip on the firearm, the frame. Here, you literally see nothing. So it's a great you know, disguise for a firearm, especially in certain environments. On top of that, the number one reason I got this is because no matter what I do, where I work, my pockets get so dirty. And I'm not just talking pocket lint, I'm talking wood shavings, glue, primer, spray foam, all sorts of crap finds its way into your pockets and into your firearm. And certain firearms just can't handle that. On top of that, I want to have a good, reliable firearm for if I ever need it. So basically, let's say your shirt lifts up, this is all you see, which is actually pretty cool. Someone might think it's a cell phone container. It, they're not going to think it's a firearm, right? My main thing was, when I first got it, is getting used to it, right? So you pull this, and you sort of pull up, and it folds the firearm up, if that makes sense. Maybe I'll do a demonstration video on it. But anyways, you're gonna, in order to draw, you're going to pull this up, and it, this is going to stay latched to your belt, so it's basically going to spread it allowing you to grab that firearm. Now that is one thing I did notice. It's metal and a magnet, so it always comes back and clings to your firearm. That was one thing I thought could possibly get in the way, but I'm hoping that by the time I draw, with more practice, I'm gonna get used to it and get to that firearm. Like I said, I did have a hard time getting it out of here as well a couple times, but I loosened that retention up, and honestly, did you hear that click? Um, honestly, it works great now thing is it is a big overall holster it is big that's what I will say but it has its own role right which is deep concealment um, and also keeping your firearm clean which is something that very little holsters do so I respect it is it the most comfortable thing in the world no it is not especially when you carry appendix I might try carrying it at three o'clock um, it's just not the most comfortable thing but over a co the course of a couple days of carrying it it's honestly started to mend a little bit to my body and get out of the way and i could sort of position it to where it's actually pretty comfortable for everyday carry at work um so so far i have nothing bad to say about it i like it i do use it some days i pocket carry some days i've been doing this but all week this is what i've been carrying so let me know in the comments your thoughts this is the urban carry g3 holster would you use one of these